Adubo. Philadelphia. Wow, precious one. We thank God Almighty for how far he has brought us. Beloved, I know that indeed today you were wowed by the message, the word of God that was given to us by the voice of God, Stephen Adum Chedua. Now, this is learned from the prophet. If you just tune into Second Chance TV, then that is the program on your screen. Learn from the prophet, as we all know, is a program that takes time to break and then digest the word of God given to us by the voice of God, Stephen Adum Chedua. Father, wherever you are, we want to salute you and then we say, God, would you bless you. We thank you for always coaching us, guiding us onto the right path and giving us undiluted word of God. These are words and preachings that you will never hear from any other place than this place. And to our only queen mother, yes, let me forgive me. I'm so much elated, so I had to mess up your name. To Owahine, Abrimpo, Amine Frankasa, Mommy, we salute you wherever you are. We say thank you for making the home so conducive enough for Daddy to have a sound sleep and to always receive divine visitation and insight into the things of God and to coach us onto the right path. Beloved in Christ, I entreat you to call a friend, to also call a friend that we are now live on Second Chance TV. And remember, we are also streaming live on all social media handles on youtube it bears the name of the voice of god stephen adun chedia now on facebook it also bears the name of the voice of god stephen adun chedia instagram twitter they all bear the name of the voice of god stephen adun chedia tell them to all subscribe hit the notification button so that they will be blessed with the sermons that is being preached in this house and i know they will all testify to the goodness of god now my name is maradona Mwako. we're going for a short break do not move away from your TV. Welcome back, beloved in Christ. Uh, as I said earlier, today we want to give a special greetings to the voice of God, Stephen Adun Chedia, and to our queen mother, Owahine Abrimpon, Owahine Pankasa, and to all Philadelphia royals. We know, as the name goes, you are a royal, so you are special, unique, one as such. We salute you wherever you are, and we welcome you to the show. Now, the Lord Jesus Christ, being so good, has granted you and I life. And as we are alive, it behoves on us to do the work of he that sent us. It is for us to learn to get our minds reshaped, and then our hearts strengthened enough for us to face the world, and then the thing that lies ahead of us. That is when the voice of God, that is why the voice of God, Stephen Adun Chedia, always takes time to teach you and I, to encourage us in the Lord, to straighten us, and then make sure that we are equipped, we are complete, perfect, like a nothing. So today, on this episode, we are going to look at the message, the continuation of a message that was given to us last week. And we know that as you were shaking, last week this week or today's message was a higher level it was a continuation that got jaws dropping down in the auditorium we all felt an unusual quietness the place was so quiet because you and i were all at what we were exposed to higher level of truth that has escaped the christendom now stay with me i know you all have Certain things you want to share with us. But before we dive into that, let me go to the studio here with me and then introduce the panel that the Lord Almighty has blessed us with and we go into the intricacies of all this that we had today. Now I'm going to start from Mr. Daniel Kofi Osai. Mr. Daniel Kofi Osai is the senior housemaster at Kumasi High School. That you are welcome. I believe you are doing your work. Yes, by God's grace and mercy. We for thank God. Us into yes, a new month. yes, 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 yes. We, we thank God for your life and that of the family too. And then we have Mr. Michael Afuakwa also with us. Mr. Afuakwa is a sound engineer and then a disciple. He is also seated and I know, wow, my brother, you are looking good. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Uh, how Mr. are you doing and that of the family too? By God's grace, you are all doing well. We thank God. We thank God. And yes, yes. Uh, today too, there's there's a surprise. There's a surprise. I know. I know. Uh, some people are asking, uh, who, who is the fourth person here? We have Nana Kwekudia with us, a brother in the house. And I know last week you, you were all 
amazed and then uh, surprised with, with the level of contribution, the, the diversity uh, that he brought on board. I know, I know you are looking forward for more. Uh, my brother, you're welcome. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I believe you're doing well. Adumarakwa. Adumarakwa, indeed. We thank God. We thank God for your life. Wow. Having introduced you all, then the next thing is the program itself. But we believe that God is the Alpha and the Omega. So we believe that we have to begin with Him and end with Him. Uh, let me ask Mr. Michael Afoka to help us with the opening prayer. Please, let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we bless your holy name, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Amen. Father, we ask, we usher this program into your care, that please take absolute control, that Lord, at the end, we shall praise your holy name. We ask this in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Amen. 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 We, we bless God Almighty for how far He has brought us. For we Philadelphia Royals, we always have the cause to celebrate, the cause to sing hallelujah to His holy and true name. Well, today was another dimension altogether. Mm -hmm. uh, talking about the era of awareness. The era of awareness. This is a message, the era of awareness. This is this, this. the Antichrist. The message that has been distorted by the Christendom. Many fallacies surrounding this message. A lot of hula baloo concerning this message. But the voice of God came to set the record straight. But before that, uh, we realized that today, before he began, he was uh, embittered. Uh, what do I mean by that? We have some uh, volunteers in this house, which you and I, we are all part. And then uh, we, we are very near to the voice of God. And we know that he always sets a good example for us to follow. He expects much from us. Uh, what am I talking about? I'm talking about the welfare issue here. It was, it was discovered that most of us have not registered. That is first thing. The other thing is that some of us are also not paying even the monthly dues, which compared to what he blesses us with, it, it's just like a, a penny. And another aspect also was uh, the, the contribution, the special contributions that we do to support people who are in need. As the voice of God always helps those who are in need, he expects us to do so. We are also not doing that. Mr. Daniel Kofi Osai, let me come to you. You've been with the voice of God for some time now. Back in the days when you were the coordinator of the church, coordinating welfare activities and his input when it comes to the welfare of others. What do you have to say about this behavior and uh, a word of advice to us all? To at least ginger us to do the right thing. Thank you very much, Mr. Marco. You're welcome. Stephen Adum Chibi are the voice of God. Being a good shepherd, and then the extent to which he wants the Philadelphia movement to thrive mm -hmm. over 500 years, he always nourishes with a lot of information mm. which mm. will support us to be able to hold on the fort and do things right. Today, as usual, he decided to empower, especially the organizers, brothers, and most of us who are volunteers. Yes. Uh, looking back, you asked about the way people were playing their part during welfare contributions mm -hmm. here and there. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been a canker in the church. Mm. Uh, you know, Stephen Adum Chidia, the voice of God, being someone who does not extort mm. from the members, I think uh, we have become overpumped over mm. to yeah, the I'm point that uh, mm -hmm. we don't even know whether we should do the right thing at the right time or we just <laughs> decide to gloss over it. Yes. But today, he was emphatic mm. that we should take it that during the time of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. he had about 72 disciples. Yeah. But at a point in time, he had to lay off 60 of them. Yes. And uh, yes. it happened because there was no way out. Mm. They were following just their stomach. Mm. following mm. bread. So the simple things that you have to observe is okay. that if you're a brother, uh, you're supposed to first belong to any of the two groups. Mm. We're talking about the second chance group mm -hmm. or the Adum, Adum group. group. The welfare groups. The right? welfare groups, okay. exactly. Okay. Each has its own regulations regarding uh, sort of welfare dues and others mm -hmm. that they pay and mm -hmm. how 
you are well fed when okay. you should have any event okay. that they have to help you. Mm. Unfortunately, like I said, <laughs> when it comes to Philadelphia movements, yes. you know many churches, by the time you close on a day, you have made about, given about four or five offerings, mm. Mm. and then some kofi and ama, and even specific quotes which you're supposed to mm. sow as seeds. Mm. As seeds, yes. But Stephen Adumchi, you are the voice of God, doesn't take us through any of such. But he always holds that opinion mm. that for a leader, you're supposed to do something good for that your followers will also follow suit. And he always always be making the statement, leadership by example. Mm. And whoever mm. has actually uh, have the opportunity of being with Stephen Adum Chidu at the voice of God, will clearly see that he is a practical man. Mm -hmm. Whatever he says, he is practicalizing it in life. Okay. He doesn't preach virtues and practice vices. No, okay. he does exactly what he tells us. So he wants everybody to know that if you are a volunteer, yes, uh, some of us, even mm -hmm. as volunteers, mm -hmm. you know, voluntary work does normally not um, give you yeah. or attract any sort of remuneration. Yeah, yeah. But some of us have worked our way through to a point where we are not even benefiting uh, financially mm -hmm. and so many other ways. Yeah. But we are not doing the right thing. Okay. You know, even when we come to church, we hardly put in any offering. Mm. However, if we take our children to the Sunday schools, we put some coins in their pocket. Yeah, to go but and give for us, us we do not mm. give anything at all. Even when we have been registered with a welfare group, mm. we don't pay whether the dues or contributions, which are mm. several collections we make okay. when people are in distress. All this, Stephen Adumchi, the other voice of God, is reiterating the fact that he is not a pastor to any of us. Mm, mm, and because mm. of that, the purpose of the welfare is for our own well-being, so that in times of need, it will cushion us. And for this matter, he wants all who are also Philadelphians to know that everything is not going to be on a silver platter mm. like it did happen for last year's welfare support. Yeah, okay, okay. When you have to benefit from the welfare support mm -hmm. fund, mm -hmm. they will make sure that you are a regular member mm -hmm. who pays dues at the right time mm -hmm. and make sure you support your brothers when there is yeah. the need for you okay. to do so. Okay. If you default any of this, you must know that technically there is no way you ever enjoy from that particular fund. Okay. So and this time uh, it wouldn't be mass promotion. No. <laughs> it will be... Where fully screen, yeah, yes, yes, yeah. So much screen that if you're not careful, we'll get only a few people. Mm. And when we have a few people, then they're going to they enjoy. get a lot of to resources enjoy. to support yes, themselves. Yes, uh -huh. So we should change our mindset, okay, and then continue to do the right thing, okay. Because, like he said, he has never used any opportunity to extort from us. Yes, we know true. the way he's able to go through healing, uh, miracles, and other things. Mm -hmm. But he has never in any day put fear in us. Mm -hmm. Like you have three days to live. Mm. When that is said, and they even tell you <coughs> that it has been orchestrated for mm. you. Mm. Mm. I'll be having counseling. Come okay. and pay 1,000 CDs. Yes. Go through this sort of rise, sort of... Um, Directions. Directions. Yeah. You certainly pay mm. because you want yeah. your life. Yeah. But yeah. he has not done any of such. So please, uh, all volunteers, sure. brothers, and who are supporting in the ministry, mm. please let's take a cue from him so that at the end of it, uh, we will not have ourselves sad. Okay. He said Jesus sat 60, but you know in his ministry, it is always 40 fold. Yeah, so so 60 now, times 40. 60 times 40. Uh, me and bad. you and all of us. That's we can disaster. easily lose our That's place. Disaster. So let us do the right thing. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that word uh, of caution. Now let me come to Mr. Michael Afuakwa. Yes, you've been around before. Uh, for, for a long time, let me come that way. Uh, if volunteers, the volunteers are listening to you. Now, and let's not also limit it to only volunteers. <coughs> 
we also have other church members. You understand where we were coming from. As Mr. Danny Kofi was, I said, back in the days, we could give offerings like one, two, three times, like three times a day. Then they also call for special uh, offering, that is sea sowing, whereby now people are now called by the sum of money, not your name. So I need thousand people come forward, <laughs> come and lay this at my feet. You understand? In this house, something like that has never happened. There's a project going on, and now we all know the, the, the prices of uh, iron rods and these building materials. Mm -hmm. No one is tasked to pay anything. Mm -hmm. The only thing we can help is to give our offering and then to pay our dues, which even that one does not go to the voice of God, the same that doing children in the house. But then to support our brethren, our sisters who are downtrodden, that one we say, no, we won't do it. Uh, and what do you have for them? A word of advice to we volunteers and to everyone, Philadelphia Royals, listening and then watching us now. Thank you very much, Mr. Marco. You know, um, it's written in the scriptures mm -hmm. that Jesus will tell some people that depart from me mm. because you never did the right thing. Yeah, you doers of evil. Yeah, mm. do you doers of evil. I was poor. Mm. I was naked. Yes. I was very hungry, mm. but you never came to my aid. Wow, wow. You know, um, as volunteers... Who are we even following? Mm -hmm. Are we following, please excuse my words and language, are we following a tailor? Mm. Are we following a mechanic? Okay, okay. Who are we following? Mm -hmm. We are following the prophet of God. Of God. A man of God. Mm. The one after God's own heart. Own heart. And then he, why is he after God's own heart? And why is he called the voice of God, mm. the prophet of God? Mm. Meaning that he pleases mm. the mm. heavens. Mm. He pleases God. So if genuinely <laughs> you have become a volunteer to follow his footsteps, then leadership by example, he has already set the pace. He himself belongs to one of the groups. That is the second chance group. The second group. chance group, yeah. And then he's always paying his monthly dues, his special contribution. Mm. So as a volunteer, let's say for instance, being, being, having your duty post at the Second Chance TV. Yeah, yeah. And then you don't belong to any of the groups or you have given, um, let's say you, you have no regards mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for the groups. Okay. Okay. You don't even belong to the church, the itself. church itself. You think maybe you are just a mere worker and you are mm. just working. Okay. And it means, um, <laughs> in a nutshell, you care less about what Jesus said. Mm. Mm. You know, this money is being channeled to the poor and needy, the downtrodden ones. Mm. Mm. And these are the people, as Papa has already been saying, he said yeah. that this is the means through which he is... Mm, Paying his gratitude mm. to the God Almighty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you refuse to contribute, mm. then it means <laughs> you are not grateful. You are not grateful. Like uh, you are an ungrateful being. Yes. Don't go that way. That, that, that would make it very simple and clear. Yeah. <laughs> so if he said that at the end of this year, the screening method or mm. let's say yeah. the screening platform will be tightened, mm. it mm. has to be. It has to be. Wow. So please, as volunteers following Stephen Adunchira, the voice of God, he has said that, in fact, there's this replication of what happened in the era of Jesus Christ. Mm. Mm. And he is acting, he's the character yes. for, Christ. for Christ. And we are the followers. Mm. So mm. we must do due diligence, wow. just as Peter and the rest did. Mm. We shouldn't be counted among the sisters mm. mm. that were sacked. Okay. <laughs> From following Christ. I should be counted among the twelve. The twelve. That we made to perpetuate the gospel. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank mm. you very much. I, I saw Nana nodding along the line. <laughs> I know if, if you have something you also want to share with us. Like you, you, you've been in ministry. You've been into other places. As I said earlier, we all came from other places where we saw different arts when it comes to giving and then taking from us in the church. What can you say about that? And a word of encouragement 
at least sometimes uh, as as human as we are we need a pat on the shoulder mm. but you can do it sit up and do it tell us something give us a pat on the shoulder thank you very much Mr. Marco. Welcome. once again i want to give praise to Adum Yanko Pong for giving me a second chance. Mm -hmm. I want to say a big thank you and salute the voice of God and Father for this privilege mm -hmm. and the opportunity. I want to greet my own mother, Anna Hima. Yeah. She's a true epitome of uh, a gracious woman and a virtuousness. A virtuous woman. I, I love her so much. Wow. wow. Yes. And I want to greet my superiors, the yeah. senior brothers, uh -huh. uh, brother Nicholas. Yes. Uh, brother Robert, Robert uh -huh. Brother Ima, mm -hmm. Brother Charles, yes. uh, Brother Gabriel. The list continues. Yes, it <laughs> continues, <laughs> continues. <laughs> Let me greet uh, my brothers, the general managers. Wow. I don't know if yeah, you know yeah, that. Yeah, 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 the yeah. general managers in Kumasi. And then in Accra. Uh, brother Daniel Kobiche is my <laughs> younger brother. Yes. Brother Daniel Popo is my younger brother. Yes. I yeah. want to salute my father in Akosombo. Okay. Uh, that Francis. <laughs> and that Walter Chi. Thank you so much for your support. Okay. Thank okay. you so much. And I. I want to salute your panel. Last week, I forgot to salute you. You are doing a very great job. This panel wow, is wow, a powerful wow. panel. Uh, powerful. In fact, <laughs> this program is the most viewed program in the world of Second Chance TV. Really? I'm telling you. Really? I'm, I'm, tell, I'm bringing reports from the viewers. Oh, That's why, uh, wow. Mama Today, Dorothy is not here. Yeah. I, I salute her. Wow. I salute her. And uh, thank Today, you so much. the hype is too much. Yeah, <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> yes, Mr. Mwako. Yes, please. Yes. On this issue, you see, sometimes you don't know what you have mm -hmm. until you lose, lose it. it. And uh, when you have not been somewhere else mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, you, you are comfortable in your comfort zone, you, yeah. you, you tend to take things for granted. For granted. Uh, mm. Because we in Philadelphia, yeah. by the grace of God mm. that is upon the man of God, the mm. voice of God, mm. Mm. His grace that is working for us. Yes. If you listen to today's his pronouncement, yeah. he said, "We in Philadelphia, mm -hmm. we are not affected by Elevi." Yes. 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 Do you understand? Yes. In other words, mm -hmm. we we carry our own atmosphere yeah. in Philadelphia. Yes. We are cushioned we, by grace. We operate by mm. a different set of rules, mm. as mm. the Bible says. When there's a casting down, mm. then we shall see then there's a lifting there's up. A lifting up. Mm. So Powerful. we are privileged. Powerful an opportunity to be mm. in Philadelphia. Yeah. Okay. And you see, there is a, a, a spiritual backing mm. in anything the voice of oh, God, God does. does. In reference to this welfare. Yeah. Yeah. He's trying to replicate what we have in Acts chapter 20. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Verse 34. Okay. When the, even in, in their days, yes, in even in their days, mm -hmm. some had to go and even sell Tried their properties. Yeah. Yeah. And come and lay to feet for distribution mm -hmm. to be done. Mm -hmm. Even in their days. Yes. Yes. But here, the voice of God said, an understanding of the concept mm. is vital. Wow. We need to understand the concept of the welfare. Mm. Mm. Yeah. If we do not understand, then we'll be, we'll be lackadaisical about mm. it. We'll take it for granted. For, for granted. Yeah. He's helping us to help him to help, help ourselves. ourselves. Wow. To wow. help ourselves. Mm. Mm. So an understanding of the concept is very vital. You know, mm -hmm. out there, yeah. like Mr. Sai said, uh, Philadelphia, we have been pampered. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the voice of God even said that. Uh, yeah. We should we should feel pampered. Mm. We should we should we feel uh, good in that kind. Yeah, yeah, we should yeah. also rejoice. And so yeah. sometimes I'm, I, I think that you in trim high and there are also because when you are out there mm -hmm. and you are slammed with first fruits, yeah, with first fruits, first fruit. mm -hmm. you are taking the the lamb salary, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the first month of the year, mm. or your first salary, salary. upon acquisition yeah. of a new job. Mm. Mm. To go and lay it on the altar, that is first fruit, first fruit. or your tithes, mm. the different kinds of seeds, wow. the other seeds, mm. pastor's appreciation, mm. pastor's birthday. Wow, you see, wow. all these different kinds of giving and of taking financial mm. on, on, on us. Mm. He has absorbed, he's taking all. No, here, no, yes, 
Yes. At the end of the month, they say, out of your own free will, yes. come and give thanks. Thank God. But in addition to it, let us. It's a family. Yes. It's a family. It's a family. There should be a real feeling. Mm. Mm. The Bible admonishes us to cater for one another, another. to wow. to be concerned about the needs of one another. Mm. Christ mm. Christianity is not selfishness. Yes. Yeah. It's yeah. not covetousness. Yes. Yeah. So he said, let us put these things together mm. so that the needy around us. The Bible says that when, when you uh, turn for the poor, you mm. give to the poor. You, you are led to, to God. Yes. And God rewards us. Mm. So these mm. things that we are mm. doing, mm. we are not even doing it for the voice of God. Yes. We are doing it for our own self. Oh, yes. So it's important that we embrace it. Thank you. And you see, when we are not doing it, we are not honoring the man of God. Wow. And like he said, the voice of God said, he said, as the Bible says, he that's honest. Mm. He shall be honored. Okay. When you despise, you shall be greatly despised also. Okay. So let us embrace this welfare and do it wholeheartedly. The voice of God said, Christianity is, is not compulsion. It's not compulsion. It's not an imposition. Wow. It's, wow. it's willingness. Free will. Free will. Wow. Sacrifice. Mm. You do it wholeheartedly. Mm. And that is where the blessing comes. Thank so you. I will encourage all of wow. us to wow. embrace it wow. and to be hearty in doing it. Thank you very, Thank much. You very much. So a word to a wise is enough. Yeah. It's enough. Or oh, it's in the north. <laughs> We've all heard a lot. Uh, let's try to walk in the in the big shoes of the voice of God. Mm -hmm. We know that his shoes are so big and heavy, but then we have to try to fit in there because he has given us an example that we've all witnessed. And for that matter, we should be able to also do the same. Uh, so to all volunteers, to all Philadelphia Royals, let's make sure that we do not make our daddy, we do not make the voice of God, Stephen Adun Chedia, come back to talk of this same thing again, because it goes in the long run to support you and I, you and I. God will really bless you for doing justice to it. I know this week, everyone is going to be in the queue, especially we in the house, the volunteers, we are all going to go in the, get our names registered and then make our daddy proud. Yes. Uh, okay. Now, uh, let, let's move into food here. Let's, let's come into uh, today's message. What, what happened? You see, many people, many people find it very difficult to understand and then accept the teachings of the voice of God, Stephen Adunchidia. So they see him to be an alien to the body of Christ. Yes, uh, so sometimes when you go back to your church, for instance, when you come here and you go back to your church, people see that uh, you are an outcast. You went to a place which they do not deem to be counted among the Christian fraternity. Mm. All because they do not understand the principles of the Bible, the message that is given to us. So today he made us to actually appreciate the reason why there's a lot of disparity. And then because of that, people do not come to accept his message that free uh, uh, wholeheartedly. Let me go that way. Mr. Fokwa, let's look at it this way. The voice of God, Stephen Adonchelia, made us to understand the difference between he that is ordained by the heavens himself, by God Almighty, and he that said he wants to be in ministry, and for that matter, we we'll have to go to the house of the pastor, wash over there, clean, and then to be mentored by this man of God, sometimes even taken to a Bible college of the church with a doctrine of that particular church handed over to him. What are some of the differences? What do you see? And what did the voice of God tell us today? Thank you very much, Mr. Malcolm. You're welcome, boss. Um, from the question, this means that we have man-made <laughs> and then God hand-formed made or God hand-formed men of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even it's written in the book of Acts mm. that in the end times he will pour down his spirit yeah. upon all flesh. Yeah. Yeah. And then when you read down, this, it was written that he would also pour down his spirit upon his own mm. servants. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, fulfillment of the prophecy of Joel. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Meaning we have God's own servants. Mm. Mm. And then we have those that have been hand formed by men okay. or trained, trained by, by men. men. You know, with God's servants, when he's sending them, let's say, in an era, it means that maybe the heavens have perceived or seen something that is very detestable. Mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. which is going on on the earth, on the which earth. they want a man of God, a prophet, mm. to go and correct or to send a sound of warning. Warning. For instance, like um, Jonah. Yes, yes. Sent to Nineveh. Sent to Nineveh. Okay. okay. To warn the, the nation, mm. Nineveh, mm. Mm. that God has seen their act of wickedness. Mm which they need to correct their ways. Okay. Someone okay. like Jeremiah. Jeremiah, yeah. You know, Jeremiah is an example mm. of those that God trained mm. from mm. infancy. From infancy, yes. yes. God said, I'm sending you mm. to the people of Israel. Yes. Jeremiah said, Lord, I'm just a kid. Mm. Mm. How would I be able to speak? Wow. No, I'm giving you the tongue of fire wow. to speak for wow. me. Mm. Wow. So with the true men of God, those who have been trained by God himself, mm. they have this kind of special um, resource okay. from God himself, okay. which they come down with to accomplish God's task. Okay. Another example is Moses. Mm -hmm. We know what happened in the days of Moses. Yes, yes. But in our era today, mm -hmm. we have Stephen Adum Chedia, the prophet of God, okay. defending the number one person or the only one mm. defending the name of jesus christ okay okay today we he, he we had to showcase the number of buses wow the countless buses <laughs> that we had on the 31st night it wasn't easy it wasn't easy yes as you can see on the screens wow wow you know we used this mm -hmm. just to show that kind of contrast between those called by God Himself and then the those the man made men of God. <laughs> the self ordained. Self ordained men of God. <laughs> mm. Why? Because it is written in the book of Corinthians mm -hmm. chapter first Corinthians chapter one verses two. Mm -hmm. That okay. what the eyes have never seen, mm -hmm. what the ears have never heard, yes. nor has even entered into the, the hearts heart of, of men. Man. That is what God has installed mm -hmm. for those who mm -hmm. love him. Wow, wow. So with those ordained by God himself, in fact, you would always see things that are dumbfounding and mind-blowing, mm. that which the mind can never fathom. Wow. All this happened even in the morning, not in the evening or, yes, or so morning to afternoon. Look at the cars. Right wow. from in the, the evening. Uh -huh. As you people can see, had the night no, There were no aisles between the cars for people to pass through. <laughs> Bumper to bumper, that's how we call it. <laughs> bumper to bumper. The place was choked. We were packed. Now, and you know, it took people just from that place to the main road two hours, four hours. To do. I'm telling you, we closed at 3 30 a.m. thereabouts. And for people to just get to the main road, it was after six yeah. o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. seven. And the people were still between this place and then, and then Jasso. That's true, my brother. It's serious. <laughs> it's all serious. You see, another instance mm. is, mm. you know, for men of God trained by men, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they would have to write, yeah. get down their notes mm. for the sermon that they, or they have to prepare sermon notes. Yes. From other writers. From <laughs> other writers before they deliver. Uh -huh. But with those sent by God himself, yes. They have the message mm. which is mm. sourced from heaven. Wow. Because anyone sent by God or God's own servants, they hailed from above. They hailed from above. And they carry the message from above. Okay. Okay. So it's like they are hostess of God's message. Mm. So when they are pouring out, they don't need any book. Mm. Mm. For instance, Stephen Adunche, the voice of God. Yes, yes. He speaks so rapidly mm. from one point to the next. Adam. There's nothing like a briefing space yes. between his deliveries. Yes, yes. Uh, there's <laughs> not like, let me go and refer. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing like that. Wow, wow. And this shows clearly that it is God's spirit manifesting mm. itself mm. through him okay. in his voice. We have TV church worldwide. TV church. Did you see that? This has never happened mm. in anywhere before. Yeah. When we sit here, mm. Kumasi at the headquarters, yeah. we have another gathering in Germany, Germany. Mm -hmm. another gathering in Austria, US, yeah, 
Canada. In Canada. UK. In the UK. Wow. Awesome. So these are all examples to show that there's a clear difference right. between mm. those who are being sent by God mm. himself mm. and then those trained and sent by men. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Mr. Sir, let's look at it this way. Brother Afoko has spoken much concerning he that is chosen and then ordained by the heavens himself. And then the man of God who is moved uh, said that he goes for training in the Bible college and then he comes to do this work. Now, let's take the area of church establishment or church planting. Okay. Let's look at the normal uh, and acceptable practice that usually happens before a church can be planted. Mm -hmm. And then let's compare it to what is happening in the ministry of the voice of God, Stephen Adunchidia. If you can elaborate on that, let's compare. Before we came to the Philadelphia movement, how do we plant churches? What was uh, the part of the men of God and church members? And what are we seeing now? What are we doing to even warrant this or to make sure that uh, the, the movement is going on? Let's look at it that way. Okay. Thank uh -huh. you very much. You're Someone welcome. I think I will look at it from several angles. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, first and foremost, uh, I want to add a little to okay. what okay. Brother Michael said. You know, Stephen, I don't you the voice of God. Before making it clear to us that we have two kinds of men of God, mm -hmm. one ordained by God and then those also by men, uh, it was all because of the message he was giving us. Mm. Uh, though he started it last week, he was continuing with it. It's going to take quite a long time because he's giving us this message over a period of time, but we are finding it difficult to absorb it and mm. embrace it. And he wants us to understand that we have this dimension, and because of that, we should know that 666, as we have heard about mm. several times, messages by our pastors and all others, and even the signs that we are looking for all this while uh, to the point that <laughs> some time ago it was speculated that it was almost clear that okay. CCCS was going to be sanctioned <coughs> quite soon. And then mm -hmm. it was left with only uh, the President Barack Obama to give assent to it so that <laughs> it would take full <laughs> operation. You know, he came, he had two terms of office mm. and has left. We've not seen anything like that mm -hmm. being passed on. Yeah. Again, this idea of uh, people using a common currency yeah. within mm -hmm. blocks here and there as the evidence mm. yeah. all have been through several years without seeing any sign. Okay. Uh, he is making this analogy not just for making sick. This is to prove that the message he's given to us. If you are somebody born of man, mm and raised by man, mm. there's no way you'll be able to know the mind of God. Yeah. So you'll yeah. be able to yeah. give such judgment. Mm. Mm. But he has been sent and sent with a word. Yes. Uh, the word is so deep and a mystery, mm. and he's unveiling it unto us. And if we're not careful and we want to follow the pattern of men because we know the trend, like he said, if you <laughs> know very well the type of dishes which are served in various mm. homes <coughs> and you're walking around yes. and then uh, you get the smell or scent from yes. the, the kitchen uh, and yeah, you will be able to foods. tell you <laughs> that uh, this particular meal is being prepared. You could even tell the meals which are from which affluent <coughs> homes yeah. and then yeah. also those yeah. from the poor homes here and there. But in all, he said, yes, from time immemorial, there have been prophets, there have been men of God, and all that you can think of. But always there are unique ones among them. Mm. Run through the point of Elijah having so many prophets that he was unique. Mm -hmm. You had Samuel's era, mm -hmm. he was unique. Jesus, so many of such had come into the fold, mm. but Jesus was unique. Today, it is not strange that we have all men of God following one direction mm. with Stephen Adum Chibi at the voice of God also to the other direction mm. and making him unique. Okay. 
Based on that, like you said, talking about church, yeah, church planting, planting mm. and groove and mm. whatever you mm. can mm. talk about, mm. I want to make it emphatically clear that Stephen Aduchi, you are the voice of God. All his life and all our interactions with him had stated clearly that he has not come to establish any church mm -hmm. because he's not a pastor for any church. He mm -hmm. is not our pastor. Okay. Okay. Based on that, what will prompt him or will even challenge him to set up churches and follow the rules which we know that if you want to plant a church somewhere, you're supposed to have crusades, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. have follow-up trips mm -hmm. yeah. to make sure you have <laughs> home cells formed here and there. You yes, go through yes, so many yes, things. Yes. And then uh, you need a lot of resources. Mm. to make sure that at least you have a church. You will need your land. You need, you know, to train other pastors here and there to take full control. But what has happened, which is proving that, yes, he has been ordained by God. Mm. 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 Just sitting somewhere, he preaches his message, mm -hmm. and others who really had been somehow thrown away by their pastors okay. because they had come to see the man of God, the real man of God. He's mm -hmm. been able to help them out of their challenges mm. on the premise that there is nothing beside God. Mm -hmm. Whereas they have been given so many hearsays here and there, accusations mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that their challenges are tied to other people, yeah. yet they, they don't get any solution. When they have come and they have returned to their churches to give testimony over there, yes. instead of their pastors embracing them, at least they have now gotten their health mm -hmm. or they've been able to come up to a status which was better than their mm -hmm. past mm -hmm. and encourage them to walk in the life line of God. They rather sack them. And oh. through that, he said, yes, he cannot make the people worse off than before. Okay. Because even if their pastors were at least <coughs> are supporting them with those man-made lies. <laughs> and today, just because of their association with him, with him. they have to sack them. Mm. Then the good angel of Philadelphia will really come and set up. Wherever they are sacked, he will make sure he also has another Church. So close to their doorstep mm. that they will not have to travel mm. that mm. long. Mm. And lo and behold, as if it was just a story, <laughs> it has become something that is now history. Mm. Because mm. people sit in their homes and wow. they are in church. Wow. People congregate <laughs> within small locations and that is a church. And as we speak now, all global. Mm. That is how a man God. sent by God can perform. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> it is, it is, it is mind-blowing and not so easy to understand how uh, the Philadelphia movement erupted. It's just like a vo volcanic eruption. Yeah. Boom, and then it's taking over the whole place. Well, let me allow <coughs> Nana to also touch on this. So let's look at church planting. A man ordained by God. How the churches will have to organize prayer warriors hmm. then evangelism team to go to test waters that's what they tell you they go and then they survey the area more like uh, the mercenaries Joshua and then Caleb are <laughs> going to spy the <laughs> land <laughs> and then make sure making sure that the place was fertile they pray pulling down strongholds before the man of God will go for uh, the crusade they make an altar call after that, he, he, he elects someone to take charge, visit the place with second hand clothing, so on and so forth. There are so many strategies that usually happens. But over here, uh, 21st December, I think 2020, watch night, and then the voice of God said, Now I am planting the tree of Philadelphia, and it's going global. Mm -hmm. Then, boom, like mushrooms coming from the soil everywhere, with more than 300 branches globally. What do you see? Uh, to support what he made us to understand. Clearly, there is a man ordained by the heavens and one trained by man. 
Thank you very much, Utamako. Yeah, you're welcome, boss. I'll quickly let me make this correction. Mm -hmm. When we were talking about the welfare, yeah. I was quoting that uh, the voice of God was trying to replicate mm -hmm. what happened. No, as chapter 20. Uh, uh, yes, 20, 35 Th support it, uh -huh. but I meant chapter 4, mm -hmm. 34 to 35. Yes. That is when yes. the distribution, the distribution oh. happened. was done. Yes. So I just want to make this yes. Uh, yes. Uh, clarification. Yes. yes. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Samako, the voice of God categorically stated that there are two types. Mm -hmm. Those who are raised by men mm -hmm. and those who are raised by God. God. And the difference is crystal clear. clear. Wow. wow. Now, what do I mean by saying the difference mm -hmm. is crystal clear? Yes. You know, the voice of God said, and I'm trying to quote him copiously. He yeah. said, before God sends a man, mm. Mm. it is due to the prevalent circumstance mm. Mm. at mm. that time. Okay. Like last week, mm. when he used this analogy that a coach, yes. there's a game going on, mm -hmm. he studies the trend of the play. Yeah, the then he introduces a player mm. to fulfill a specific mission. Mm. Accomplishment. Mm. If you look at this dispensation, okay, you realize that what is happening with one, the voice of God, mm -hmm. yeah. and with Philadelphia movement, mm -hmm. it is clearly the fulfillment of prophecy. Mm. The fulfillment of prophecy. Wow. God, in His wisdom, mm. you see, when I look at the voice of God, yes. Uh, it's, it reminds me of the love of God. Wow. That in those days, wow. when we were yet sinners, mm. God commended his love to us yes. that and to sent his that. son mm. to die for us. Mm. You see, mm. God does not want us to perish. Wow. And God knows that we, we are in this era of woe. Okay. okay. Woe is a period of sorrow, mm. distress, calamity, tribulation. pain, mm. misery, mm. tribulation. Mm. 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 And, and God does not, God loves his children. Yeah. He does not want his children to perish. Mm. So what does he do? He sends, he sends like in the days of Jeremiah, mm. in Jeremiah 23, uh, 29, yeah. he said, he's sending him, said, I'm giving you a word, and that word will be like fire. Mm. So, and then it will be like hammer, mm -hmm. that will break the wrong to pieces, mm -hmm. fire, that mm -hmm. will burn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In Jeremiah 51, 20, he says, he's sending us his battle us. Mm. Mm -hmm. In this dispensation, the voice of God is God's battle as and weapons of war mm -hmm. to war against mm -hmm. the Antichrist. Mm -hmm. Because no one who has been sent before him has been able to confront the Antichrist. Antichrist. Let us admit, mm -hmm. we have all been compromised. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. see, the strength mm -hmm. in his own ways mm -hmm. of the voice of God is yeah. that I was not raised and mm -hmm. trained by any mm -hmm. man. Like Apostle Paul, mm. Mm. I always make this, like Apostle Paul, I was not raised or trained by any man. So you see, the voice of God said, the, the, the nations are finding it difficult to mm. accept him mm -hmm. because of ignorance. Mm. Mm. And when you watch clearly, critical what is happening, you realize that, you see, there are some people who are ordained to be saved. Yeah. Yeah. Some are ordained to be perished. Mm. If you read Matthew 13, 13, <laughs> Matthew 13, 13, yeah, yeah. You, it is there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. it's, uh, in seeing, you will not see. Yeah. In hearing, you, will not hear, you, will hear. you see, you hear, but you won't understand. You won't understand. Yeah, yeah, Lest, yeah, yeah, yeah. when you see mm -hmm. and you hear, mm -hmm. you will be converted. Mm -hmm. You will be saved. Okay. So, this message that the voice of God is bringing, mm. It takes an understanding from the Spirit of God hmm. for you to understand and then embrace it and accept it. Okay. When you look at what is happening to Philadelphia movement, just suppose against what happens on the other side when they want to establish ministry. Remember in the, in the words of the voice of God, he said his intention was not to establish a church. It is his words and his works. Mm -hmm. That sprang up, that spread abroad. Okay. 
And so people are trooping in and following. Mm. Mm. If there was time when we read Isaiah chapter 2, verse 2, okay. Zechariah chapter 2, verse 2, Micah mm -hmm. 4, mm -hmm. from 1, 2 down, you realize that, and, and, and Zechariah 10, 8, mm -hmm. if there was time we read all these things, we can even take one. You realize, okay. When you take one, you realize that what is happening mm -hmm. in Philadelphia movement is the arm of God at work. Yes, the zeal of the Lord. The zeal of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Micah 4, 1 to 2. Okay. But in the last days, it mm -hmm. shall come to pass mm -hmm. that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established in the top of the mountain, and it shall be exalted above the hills, and people shall flow unto it, and many nations shall come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord and the house of the God of Jacob. Mm -hmm. And he will teach us of his ways. And he will walk in his path. For the law shall go forth of Zion and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Okay. All the other scriptures. Mm. If you read Zechariah 10, 8. Mm -hmm. Say I will hiss. Say I will whistle. Hmm. And when I whistle, all the nations will flow onto it. Mm -hmm. That is what the good angel mm -hmm. has done. Mm -hmm. The angel of Philadelphia. No man, no no man is being sent to anywhere. Yeah. The angel is doing his work. Mm -hmm. And people are flowing onto it. People are flowing onto it. When anytime the voice of God says, Your time is up. Mm -hmm. That uptime is not just indicating a period of or a moment. Yes, yes. It's, it's a call to another mm. place. Yes, yeah. The, the, the kingdom of heaven is likened to a mountain. Mm. Mm. The mountain. Yeah. And this prophecy that we read, the that Philadelphia movement has been located on the top of the mountain. Mm -hmm. so when the voice of God, your time is up, he's calling you to come up, up, up to the top of the mountain mm -hmm. where Philadelphia movement is. Okay. So the difference is crystal clear. Mm. Yeah. He's not saying, let's go and do um, prayer vigil. Let's do mm. this. Let's mm. No. The Philadelphia angel is doing his work. Mm. All that we are doing, that we are privileged and opportune mm. to partake mm. 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 in the harvest. Wow. In the harvest. In the harvest. In the harvest. <laughs> in, the harvest. <laughs> in the harvest. We are just privileged. Yes, yes. The food is ripe. It's ripe. We are just partaking in the, in the harvest. <laughs> come, come. It's ready. Yes, it's ready. Come. So those who are out there, come. Mm. Accept that yes. this is the error. Mm. Accept that mm. we had all been enticed, wow. compromised. Mm -hmm. Accept that we had all fallen a prayer to damnation yeah. and condemnation. Mm. But in the infinite mercies and the love of God, he has sent his battle us mm. to come and battle and deliver us, and deliver us. from damnation. Thank you. So let us accept Thank you. And give praise to God. And give praise to God. That is serious. This is serious words. Well, 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 now it is very clear, as you said, that we know the one that is chosen or trained, raised by the heavens himself, and then he that is trained by man. Now, let's do a recap of last week's message because the voice of God we know as a good teacher, he always takes from the known to the unknown. So he did a recap of last week's message. Now, I'm coming to uh, Nana Kudia once again. Let's look at the first war. We, we, we have some people who are now listening to this message, the era of awareness. Beloved, if you just need the second chance to be talking about the era of awareness. Sis, <coughs> sis, sis, the Antichrist. Now, this is what we are talking of. And then we started last week. God being so good, he gave us the voice of God uh, to come and then teach us. Now, last week he took us through the first war, the second war, and then the third war where we are now. Now let's do a quick recap. Let's look at the first war and uh, the second war. And let's look at the prevailing situations. And then before that, we will come to our days. So if you can help us with the first and second war, a uh, quick one, then we, we, we set the ball in motion. Thank you very much, Mr. Marco. As the voice of God revealed to us, mm -hmm. as we read, he said, the first war is past. Mm -hmm. As we read from Revelation 9 12. Yeah. Yes. And the voice of God <coughs> explained to us that the first war was the period emanating from the time of Adam mm -hmm. to Noah. Okay. And when you watch during that time, mm. what prevailed there had to do with our lifestyle, mm. 
mm. our behavioral patterns, yeah. how to do, how to battle with sinful lust mm. of the flesh. Mm. Mm. The flesh, the mind came into play. Okay. This was what confronted us okay. in the first war. Mm. Then in the second war, okay. we read from uh, Revelation 11, mm -hmm. 14, mm -hmm. how to do from the time of Noah through to Malachi to the uh, beheading of John the Baptist. John the Baptist. Uh, John the, the Baptist. Baptist. Mm. That period characterized the second war. The second war. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the Let's look at the prevailing circumstances or situation over there. Why that era need to pass for another era? What were the things that were going on in the second uh, war? That was idol worship, mm. physical idol worship. Okay. So the prophets were confronted with mm. idolatry. Okay. The physical idol worship. Mm. They were confronted with a, 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 a stooling God as yes. the only, only mm. omnipotent God, yes. the almighty God, mm. as against the worship of idols and their um, okay. Their images. Their so images. anytime you see that there was a confrontation, mm. the, the prophet will go and break down mm. uh, their graven images yes. and their gods mm. and trying to deliver the people from the worship of idols. idols. All this characterize the, the second war. Okay. As against the first war, we have to do with our lifestyle and our mm. behavior. Mm. This time, in the second war, it was physical worship. Mm. 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 God says, I am a jealous God. Yes. Worship no other God apart from me. Yes. In the <coughs> Exodus. Yes. yes. And yet, this was what was happening. Okay. So the prophets were confronted with it. They had mm. to battle it. Mm. So true. So their purpose was to deliver mankind from the worship of idols, idols. to the worship of the only true God. The only this is what characterized the um, second war. The second war. Okay. Thank you very much. Mr. Kofi Osai, uh, Nana Kokudi has served us through the, the first war. <coughs> it's given us the prevailing situations. With the first war, it was about lifestyle, mm -hmm. the lustful desires of the flesh. Now we come to another regime, the second war, between the time of uh, Noah to the time John the Baptist was beheaded. This one being uh, with idol worshipping. Then we are in the third war. Yes. Let's look at it with a third one. What are we dealing with? And is the formula, the format same? Because men of God, last week we were made to know from the teachings of the voice of God, Stephen Adwin Chedia, that because we could not foretell where we have reached in life and where we are as a people, as a nation, there is a tendency that we still go back, we fall back to the things of old to practice or to fall on them and then seek refuge. And protection from those things. So, where are we now? Is the formula the same? Has things changed? If you can help us. Thank you very much, Mr. Marco. You're welcome, sir. Um, luckily for us, Marco Kudia has uh, already highlighted much on that. Mm -hmm. He was pointing out to us, as Stephen Adum Chidia, the voice of God, explained okay. that the first and second woes were mostly physical things. Mm -hmm. that we could easily identify with. Now, coming to the third war, he said the game plan changed. It changed. What happened? You know, we were combating idol worship physically. Mm -hmm. So, <coughs> the dragon then handed over to the beast. And when the beast took over, you know, we have two opposing <coughs> uh, powers, mm. that of God and that of the ancient serpent, Okay. being the dragon. Okay. So when there is a changeover, and we know in even football matches, yes. whenever the opposing coach is able to identify the tactical change mm. made by his opponent, mm. The other coach. Once he also change. makes sure he brings an antidote yes. yeah. to neutralize whatever uh -huh. he's bringing the on board. The new one that has been <laughs> yes. introduced into the match. So, <laughs> the heavens, mm. noting that, yes, 
the dragon or the beast was now on the earth. And it was going to be a great war to the uh, inhabitants of the earth and in the sea. Like Nana said, God being so gracious mm -hmm. and uh, merciful will not want to see his children perish. Yes. So he also quickly changed his game plan by bringing Jesus Christ on board. Wow. Now, what was the essence? He noted that the <coughs> new method was no more physical, so you can easily identify with and probably take precautions. It was a mind game. Satan was now using the mindset of man to make him so weak that he's able to overpower man. Because everything man thinks about being evil emanates from the brain, mm -hmm. which is the mind. And so the last and all other things started coming up again. And even when we talk about the idol worship, it was still also pertaining. Now, let's look at a scenario where in the Old <coughs> System or Testament, uh, much oxen and others had to be slaughtered to redeem mine from his mm -hmm. um, sins. Yeah. Now, Jesus also used his blood to atone for our sins. What is happening? People still continue to do rich, perform rituals, mm -hmm. traditions, and then they think that this will make things work for them. We know it was something that was of old, but now yeah. it's still <coughs> even continuous. Even back in churches, it continues to happen. And that is why when Jesus came uh, during the time of um, the triumphant entry, I mean yeah, to, yeah. Jerusalem. Uh, to, Jerusalem. to Jerusalem. To Jerusalem, yes. Yeah. He yeah. went to yeah. the church and mm. then made sure yeah. that he disposed of yeah, the uh, Palm Sunday. Doves, mm -hmm. Yes. Palm Sunday, mm -hmm. the doves and all others that were also used as sacrifice. Mm -hmm. He just threw them away. Mm. Now, what is happening is purely a mind game. And because of that, Jesus also decided to destroy that mind game. And he was um, given a crown of thorns, of thorns. to yeah. crush this mind, mm. which mm. was mm. the cause or the woes of man. Okay. Because once you are there, you can be here and start thinking about something abroad. And in no time, though you have not even acquired it, you have formulated all the plans to uh, own it. You even get yourself owning it before you even take that yeah. particular... Um, even how you're going to enjoy it. Yes. Everything just comes You, you even mind. start thinking of how you are <laughs> going to enjoy it when you have not acquired it. And yeah. because this mind is so powerful, it's able to equip you with any tool, be it evil, and it's mostly evil, you are able to make sure you acquire such materials. And Stephen Adum Chidu are the voice of God. One says to understand that because of this mind which dwells in the head it was the same mind which uh i think moses mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. wanted to strike yes uh and then uh, we looked at it last week mm -hmm. in psalm 14. yes psalm 74. 74. 74. yes so it, it was an aim that once that head is destroyed then the mentality, which has been the fuel. Yeah, it's 14, 14. 74, 14. Let, oh, me, okay, let me read it. You. Let me try. He said, Thou breakest the hairs of Leviathan in pieces and givest him to be meat to the people inhabiting the wilderness. That is Psalms, uh, Psalm 74, 14. Oh. He said, 13, Thou divided the sea by the strength. Thou breakest the hairs of the dragons in the waters. Thou breakest the heads of Leviathan in pieces. Yes. And get, yes. So that is what it, it is. 74, yes. uh, 13. So 14, it means that the head mm -hmm. is known to be something, uh, 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 I'll say, an incubator mm. which hatches evil and whole lot of deceit. And because of that, it's able to lure man into all sorts of life. And this has been the challenge that Jesus Christ wants us to alleviate. 
because without that, we were going to end up mm -hmm. uh, taken fully over by the dragon who has handed over to the beast. Mm. And mm. the beast, we know, as described earlier last week, okay. was very sly mm. and could use so many things to draw attention. Okay. We know uh, the beast has been brought onto this earth mm -hmm. with a caution okay. to the inhabitants. Mm. And because of that, uh, Christ had to come in very fast okay. to save us. And as we move on, we'll get to know of all the intricacies okay. that it was about to use. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much. That, that is very much revealing. Now, Mr. Vokwa, if you can help us. Now, now that it has been established that the game plan has changed in this, is, in this era, there's been a handed over, and now things are not like it used to be. Let's look at certain practices that characterize the worshipping of God in the ancient regime, in the olden days, which the voice of God did mention today. And then let everyone listening to us come to understand that indeed we are not following the old pattern again, but it is a new regime, a new era altogether. Thank you very much. <clears throat> you see, um, in the first and second war, mm -hmm. That was the battle between God Almighty, the, uh, the Elohim, mm, mm. and then the dragon, the yes. ancient serpent mm. himself. And this was a physical battle. Okay. God had his representatives, that is his prophets. Mm. And then it was between the prophets and then the priest. Okay. Mm -hmm. So even in the word of God, it stated that I am the Lord God who brought you out of slavery. Mm. Mm. Thou mm. shalt not have any other God yes. apart, from me. apart from me. And don't make any gravy image mm. in the likeness of any other thing in heavens above mm. or on the earth beneath, mm. neither in the sea. Okay. okay. And this was talking about physical idol. idol. Don't make any gravy image. image. Wow. Wow. God is a jealous God. Mm. That was the format, mm. the battle. Mm. But when the game plan changed, mm. there was a handing over. Mm. It didn't change for any reason. Okay. The ancient serpent realized that, no, with this battle, I have fought and overfought, mm. but I am not getting the numbers that I, I need to capture mm. or accomplish. Mm. 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 With Elohim, God the Father himself, so there was this change. Okay. So the ancient serpent had to change overall, take off his seat and mm. then give it to another. That yes. was the beast. Yes. So he handed everything over to the beast. That mm. his seat, his power and then authority. authority. He gave this beast three things. Mm. 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 God Almighty also handed over to his begotten son, mm. Jesus Christ. Okay. And then gave him to take over the way, mm. the truth, and the life. And the life. Wow. So Jesus spoke out vividly that I am the way, mm. the truth, and the life. Mm. No one goes to the Father except through except me. Through me. Mm. Meaning he has been given some authority. Wow. wow. And we know Jesus to be the rabbi, mm. the true rabbi. Yes. They should tell you that the beast is also a rabbi. The wow. beast is just an opposition mm. antichrist wow. he bears the name christ yes. and we have jesus christ the synthetic <laughs> the synthetic <laughs> made <laughs> of the original <laughs> you see yeah it was written that an animal mm. a certain beast came, came out of the sea. sea yes we have jesus christ also representing the lamp of god mm. the lion of the tribe of judah another animal wow so with the changeover, mm. we are no more dealing with physical idols, mm. but the idol worship has mm. been migrated to mm. another level, mm. higher level. Wow. And with this one, it resides in the spirit. Mm. And when we speak of the spirit, that is words, mm. spoken, spoken words, words. Wow. that emanates from the mouth. Mm. So mm. the idol worship has been graduated. Mm. To spoken words different level <coughs> different level altogether okay 
So with that, now this is how we, in one way or the other, are blaspheming mm. against God Almighty mm -hmm. himself. Okay. So from what Stephen Adunchida, the voice of God, said, he said, the dragon has gone on retirement. Okay. He's gone on pension. Pension. He's no more working. <laughs> God Almighty yes. is also resting mm. and has given all his authority to Jesus Christ. Okay. So with that, we all know that Satan, as explained by Stephen Adunchida, the voice of God, mm. Satan is this opposing words mm. that fight against the spoken, spoken word, word of, of Jesus God. Christ. Wow, wow, wow. So any words that counteract the spoken words of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. then it means that those words are works of Satan. You know, um, it is written that it's Jesus Christ who gives mm. and takes. Mm. So when you hear words like, today, as I sit on this television, Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, mm -hmm. I'm going to give you babies. Hey. Those of you who, are, who, who have been barren for so many years, come, God willing, tomorrow we are all meeting and I'm going to share babies. But we know God is the giver of babies. He's the one who form and make babies. So if a man of God makes such utterances, then you should know that this man of God is an antagonist to God's word. And he wants to claim that there is no God but him. If someone tells you, Brana, me me yamawa, no. <laughs> that is the Antichrist. That's Stephen Adunchila, the voice of God, wants us to understand. And then if God has said he's a jealous God, if God, the Almighty, the provider, the one who gives and takes, the one who kills and gives life, has, we have another person who also wants to stand on another platform to claim that he can also work these same miracles for you, then <laughs> you should be well enlightened that you are dealing with the other side, that is the beast. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, that, that's deep. But then, before we continue, let's take the Bible quotation. Okay. Let's read from Revelation chapter 13, verse 2 to 5, and then... We come to talk of yeah, certain key things that need to be broken down for people to understand. Revelations chapter 13. Yes, please. From verse 2. Yes. And the beast which I saw mm -hmm. was like unto a leopard, mm -hmm. and his feet were as the feet of a bear, okay. and his mouth as the mouth of a lion. Mm -hmm. And the dragon gave him his power, his seat, and great authority. Wow. Wow. Okay. Have you read the verse 4? Okay, should I read through to the verse 4? Yes, 4 or 5. Yes, okay. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wandered after the beast. The verse 4. And they worshipped the dragon which gave power unto the beast, and they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Mm -hmm. Who is able to make war with him? The verse 5. Okay. And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies. And, oh. the, mm -hmm. and power was given unto him to continue for 40 and 2 months. 40 and 2 months. You see, but most of these details were explained by the voice of God. Yeah. Uh, gave him his power and his seat and authority which you spoken of now let's let's come to the way he said and i saw one of his hairs as it were wounded to death and his deadly wound was healed and all the world all the world wandered after the beast okay now let me come to that now radically or when we come to the life of we man the moment you sustain a deadly wound let's say a wound you know that when you have this wound it kind of <coughs> alters the physiology, uh, the physiological looks of that body part. So sometimes there may be some distortion even with a normal or anatomical function of the body. Then you have a wound, so you always try to cover it. Now, the head of this beast, one of these heads, is having this wound, a serious one. And then instead of it being covered, it's now exposed. 
which even for people to shun away from it, now people are following. What is its implication? What does it mean? You see, the Bible talks with wisdom and there's some symbolism, unless you're able to break it down for people to understand. What does that mean? And what, in what manner is the effect of this wound on the dwellers of the earth as in this era? Thank you very much, Mr. Marco. Let me take it literally as we presented it mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. When your head is crushed, yeah. number one, it deforms the head. Mm -hmm. It disfigures your head. Your head. Mm. So on the on the on the facial look, literally, it's not even good looking. Mm. It's not good to behold. Mm. Mm. Because your head has been deformed. Wow. It has been disfigured already. Wow. So, naturally, you will even want to put on a cap. Yes, yes. You will want to wear a hat. In, our, in, in the times of the world where people put on cap because of the sun, to see the sun, <laughs> even when the weather is cold, it is raining, you still want to put on a cap. <laughs> because, number one, your head has been disfigured. Figured. Then when you come to the scar itself, the scar itself, mm. that alone is what you call a stigma. It, it attracts a stigma. To you, it's a, it's a social stigma. Stigma. That is, yes. you, you don't even want people to see that you have such a scar. Mm. 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 But controlled symbolically, it is this disfigured head and stigmatized scar that the world is craving for. You know, Samako, mm -hmm. the voice of God always says, Montimacy. Montimacy. If you appreciate the kind of filth in the world today, yes. the kind of filth in the world today, mm -hmm. you, you, you realize that the, 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 Jesus said, why don't you understand my speech? Mm. Because you don't hear my word. So the lack of understanding of his speech, his speakings, mm. Is, mm. is what is bringing all this hula balu. Yes, See, yes. The voice of God has a mission. Mm -hmm. As a voice, I, I, permit me just to echo this. You see. Okay. When you read Ephesians 5, Seven. You mm -hmm. see, it's about the body of Christ. It's about yes. the church. Yes, it's about the church. It's about the church. Mm. If you read Ephesians five twenty seven, five twenty seven, okay. Colossians chapter one, twenty into twenty two, mm -hmm. you realize that he he is bringing sanity into the system, mm -hmm. so that he will present the church without blemish, blemish mm. unblameable, mm. Mm. holy, holy yeah. and acceptable yeah. unto yeah. God. Mm. Because the Bible says that we are a royal priesthood, a chosen generation, mm. a holy nation. Mm. Mm. But in this dispensation, because of the activities of the prince of the air, we have all been entrapped and ensnared mm. by the scar of the beast. Wow. You see, the voice of God is a strategist. He's an extra. Just like, you see, he's in this world to demonstrate the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes. And the Holy Ghost is referred to as the extraordinary strategist. When you look at what he did during the Easter time. Yes. When he came to, we, we, we were in bondage. Mm -hmm. We were tied. Mm -hmm. So he came to release us. When he came to release us, then what did he do? Mm -hmm. He started working on the migration. Yes. When you read Romans chapter 8, okay. 5 to 7, talk about the voice of God work on the carnality of the mind. Mm. Because mm. carnality is enmity mm. to God. Mm. Mm. So if you dwell in the mind, the Bible says in that mm -hmm. scripture that yeah. you cannot mm. please, please God. God. And the voice of God always reiterates, John 4, 23, mm. that the time comes when they that worship the Father mm. will worship him in spirit and, and in, in truth. truth. And we have in Philippians mm. 3, on three mm. uh, chapter 3, verse 3 mm. also. In spirit and truth. And you see, the voice of God has migrated us 
mm. from the mind mm -hmm. onto the spirit. Okay. So immediately he brought this era of awareness, awareness. because now the battle you Life got to be fighting from the spirits. Mm. 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 You have to fight it from the spirit. So he is opening our eyes to the things that be, to the things that confront us. Mm -hmm. Because when you look all over, as he explained, he explained in detail many, many, many instances. So you realize that, accept it, we have been ensnared already. Yes. The says, 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 the mm. Antichrist, mm. the effect is already in place. In motion. Mm. So this teaching, mm -hmm. creating awareness. Awareness. The Bible says, true knowledge mm. shall the just mm -hmm. be delivered. Wow. As wow. it's opening up to us. Wow. You check yourself. You say, hey, mm. in this instance, mm. Antichrist has grabbed me. Mm. But mm. knowledge comes. Mm. He comes as the light of God's word. Yes. So you, when you throw the light, you see that, ah, I'm wow. walking in darkness. Mm. Then you check yourself. Yes. Th there's no need to arrogate mm -hmm. a holier than thou mm -hmm. state mm -hmm. unto yourself. Mm -hmm. Let us admit that Christendom has been engulfed mm. in the filth. Mm. James 1, he said, he said, lay every filthness aside mm -hmm. and receive with meekness okay. the engrafted word that is able to save your soul. So when you watch clearly with all the instances and the illustrations the voice of God gave, mm -hmm. you realize that in one way or the other, if it's not in this place, it's in another place, yes. that we are worshipping the the scar of, of the, the beast. beast. And the scriptures support that. Okay. If you read the scriptures, you talk about, see, all that characterizes the scar of the beast is mm. the work of the flesh. Yes, yes. The work of the flesh. Mm. Mm. And the verse of God is teaching us that we should walk in the spirit. Yeah. And because not Galatians 5, it says, flesh. when you walk in mm. the spirit, you, you will not, not fulfill the last of the, the flesh. flesh. And not gratify the things of the flesh. Wow. Walk in the spirit. Mm. So the voice of God is bringing all this awareness mm. Mm. and then positioning us to walk and function in the spirit. Mm. Then when we become aware of an area, it's the mm. light. It's like when the whole place is in, in darkness yes. and the moment light comes. Mm. When it's mm. dark, you don't know that this chair is here. Yes. You don't know that this yes. table is here. Yes. But when light comes and the word of God is light mm. and in this darkness, in this era of darkness, of the period of the Antichrist, mm -hmm. of the third war, mm -hmm. the voice of God has come as the light of God, just as Jesus came, mm. to show us where we've gone amiss, where we have been enticed, so that we'll straighten ourselves, so that in the end, he will present unto God a church without wrinkle, without okay. blemish. blemish. Okay. Thank you very much. Love in Christ is, is getting interesting and deeper. Now, we are going to the WhatsApp line to read some messages that are already dropping in. Now, let us try to stick to today's message. Whatever you have learned from the voice of God, today's message and that of last week, that is what we want to know. Let us not move uh, overboard. Make sure that if you have a suggestion, if you have a question, limit it to today's teachings. And I know the Lord Almighty shall richly bless us all. God bless you for taking time to watch Learn for the Prophet. The number is 0241-775-009. 0241-775-009. And then in the same vein, we are also activating our phone lines. You can call, stay interactive. The number is 0201-169541-0201-169541 and 0266494-385. 0266494. The Lord richly bless you. Now, this is from uh, Mommy Jane, midwife in Cronum. It says, We are on, you guys are on fire. In fact, you always keep the fire burning. Great job. Thumbs up. You who and Shia Mopa, learn from the prophet panelists. You guys are doing very well. And this is from Mommy Jane, a midwife in Cronum. Mm. This also goes, Papa, do you and Shia Mopa, Papa, Brother Maradona. Papa started today's sermon, the era of awareness, but I started in the era of Botrofe. Hey, what a rabbi. <laughs> but I'm rather not true. Papa's teaching today, I put it to him that he is the comforter that Jesus Christ promised us. Papa, don't. 
Matilda, da da. <laughs> brother, my daughter, please let's read John chapter 16, verse 12 to 15 now to prove my point. He said, This quotation will prove his point. That's why he always says, Mutiam you may say or your own one from Atakofi in Ultimate News site. Mm. Well, wow, Atakofi, we thank you for this revelation that you've also brought on board. Mm. Philadelphia, I was an outcast, but through the teachings of Stephen Adum Chedria, now I have been found. I was not remembered in my community, but Adum Yami has remembered me. Now I'm a proud Philadelphia. This is from Alasa Adumba Enusa. I have for I know Kenya say, I have for Kenya say. Now, okay. It says, Mr. Mwaku, please, oh, the dangerous part of those volunteers who have not registered that they can easily betray the voice of God. Oh, Auntie Amma, hmm. from Sashiri or so. In fact, I fall short in all that Papa said today. I pray that God will forgive me. I have the mark of the beast long, 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 long ago. And it's from Sister Amma or Auntie Amma, Sashiri or so. Is that uh, the volunteers, you can easily betray the voice of God. That's why we've not registered. <laughs> so if you don't want to be counted as a Judas, do the needful. <laughs> now, Papa also told us about the characteristics of the beast. Its head was bruised by Moses. Now it has taken up both features of the lion and tiger, which have been handed over, attributes of the dragon, and that in this third war, war, the different features which manifest in its prohibited, prophetic systems, a character identifiable with Christendom, of which the world is blind about, and we need to be very smart to see and fight this beast. It needs to be explained very well once more, but the good news is that our master and savior, Jesus, is the lion of the tribe of Judah. Papa Jiwu too, God bless Papa for this strong message uh, that was hidden. Truth be told, God bless you all. The panel members for the good work, I'm Sir Poggy in Cape Coast. Is that my question? Is I want Papa to tell us why it's called Sis Sis Sis. I'm Gladys Ajapoma. Okay, Auntie Gladys, uh, we shall surely get there. The message is coming, unfolding. You get to know the calculation. Today he gave us an algebraic expression. It was a simultaneous equation. <laughs> and we all took to calculate the number of days. So we will see this one too. Mommy Rose Dansuman. Adumo, thank you, Pa, our reliable panel. Papa Adum, you are our teacher, our professor, who has never been tired of standing for over four hours explaining the word of God to us. We always owe you gratitude or gratitude. Papa Adum has said, no one, pastor, reverend, doctors, men of God, can compare themselves with you. No shaking. No shaking. And it's for Mommy Rose in Dansoma. Mm. It's not easy. Mr. Mwako, you and your panel are indeed teaching assistance to the professor emeritus of God's word. Wow. No doubt. Stephen Adun Chedia, the voice of God and Jesus Christ, comes as a package deal for us Philadelphians to be vigilant of the works of the Antichrist. Always a joy learning from Papa Adum, the revelator and light of our time. And this is from Brother George in Pokiasi. Wow, wow. Adumo, I have lots of words. The Holy Professor is too much. This is the second time of listening to this man. I said, this someone. I am now getting things clear. God bless Papa from Kwabena in Tema. So this is the second time he's listening to him. Okay. This is from Brother Tony in Mankasim. I pray all the Lordship of God come to understand the prophet of God, the voice of God in time so as to lessen his tedious work of advising those fake and self-acclaimed men of God to change. For he has a lot of goodies from God to his, that is to God's children. Philadelphia, Adishakonkon. Philadelphia Holy Royals, True Second Chance TV, the words of Adam the Revelator is perfectly being suited in our hearts. Today's service with the words of Adam straightforwards me to be firstly vigilant of every word that I hear and watch from people and also the mindset of every step and things I do in life. I'm grateful for these teachings and this is from Marcus upon Amankwa. Brother Marcus, God richly bless you. Adamo. 
In fact, Stephen Adumcheria, the voice of God, is the living Wikipedia of the Bible. Indeed, a God sent. I am blessed to be alive to hear from him. The truth to every word of God in the Bible. Second Chance TV. Say a dumb one from former Reverend Ernest Kenneth Ando in Accra. Now, because of Second Chance TV, now the Reverend Minister's Quarter is a former Reverend. Wow. Wow. Is that good evening from Papa's message today? He has made us aware that everything we are doing with our bodies shows that we are having the mark of the beast. May God have mercy on us all and erase the mark from us. Papa, mm. God bless you mightily from Florence. Oh, for you are a real equia pim. The messages are many. I think I have to be wrapping up and they come into the studio soon. Adumo, thank God for giving us, Papa. We have the mark already, yet we don't know. We didn't know, and we're still waiting for it. Oh, God, help the Christians to listen to Papa Adum. God bless Papa so much. Peace from Ejusso. God bless the man of God, Stephen Adum Chedua. He is really doing a great work. Good teachings. God bless you all. And it's from Nana Jemfi and then uh, Auntie Jonita in France. Wow, Auntie Johnny and then Nana Javi, my warmest regards to you all. You are doing good. Keep listening and then watching the voice of God, Stephen Adum Chedua. Okay, Adumo, God bless the voice of God for such a wonderful message. Is that a hard mind? I don't know if you were talking about the mark. I had mine about 20 years ago, but now we will change for the better. Yeah. Isaac attack Kobina in Seoul too. Okay, so keep the messages coming. You will find time to come back and then read some of them. Yes, the messages are many. They are many. They are many. Let me come to the studios once again. Mr. Mr. Fokwa, now we've, we are talking about the deadly wounds, uh, some of the characteristics that has engulfed the society. Now, this. let's look at the, the, the advent of uh, social media. What is happening? Uh, things that are making waves now. Fashion. Then, right from there, we look at blasphemy. All transits that comes from the mouth of so-called men of God, so-called Christians, so-called believers. Let's look at all these things in totality. Thank you very much. Um, you, you're welcome. You know, concerning the deadly wound, mm. Stephen Adam Chile, the voice of God, also revealed another mystery. Okay. It, as we read from um, some... 74 verse, verse 14, 14 yeah. that Moses had to crush one of the heads of Levienta. Mm, mm, mm. And we all know that it is the head mm -hmm. that carries the mind. The mind. Wow. Wow. So if Moses had to crush one of the heads of Levienta, mm. then it means Moses saw something. Mm, mm. Meaning this Levienta mm. was carrying a certain kind of mentality, mentality. Mm. 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 if his deadly wound was healed his wound was healed deadly wound was healed and then men are chasing after this car mm. this deadly mm. wound then what would have happened if it was not if it was not crashed mm -hmm. and then everything was intact together with its mind mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, even just with the deadly wound, Stephen Adin Chodia, the voice of God, explained that this is very symbolic and then it represents immoral, immorality. Mm. Today, mm. we have people with this high pedigree, wow. but we have their nakedness on TikTok. It's not easy, oh. You know, it's very shameful for a woman back in the days to even show forth her breast. Mm. Mm. Even when they were breastfeeding yes. their young babies, yes. they would have to cover, cover it, up. it sometimes, yes. But today, showing forth the breast is buy one, get one free. They'll tell you nudity sells. <laughs> <laughs> and do you know one funny thing? Mm -hmm. It has become this sort of like competition amongst women yes hmm. i have this kind of nice excuse my words boobs mm -hmm. look at your boobs mm. you've been calling yourself a christian mm. 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 the very day i pumped my boobs mm. i mean i'm riding in v8 yes. 
Wow. Yeah. Now I can service about 20 men <laughs> in a day. And it's, look at the woman saying this with, with so much of pride. pride. You see, yeah, yes, yes. Ah, someone who calls herself Slay Queen. Slay Queen. Showing for their monies and then their homes and then cars. Just so like that. this has become something that very dangerous that if you are not very careful mm, mm. as a Philadelphian, mm. you'll be tempted. <sighs> Stephen Alinchida, the voice of God, also explained further and mm. gave so many examples, you know, concerning um, that so many people, they are following the dragon mm. Mm. and then praising him and at the same time also worshipping the beast. Mm -hmm. And with that, concerning the head, mm. we see youngsters who are into addiction. Yes, yes. Smoking weed, yes. Ma marijuana, mm. into tramor. The weed toffee, are, weed they, toffee. They, yes, they've turned the weed into toffees. Yeah, you go to secondary school, uh, and that's what is taking over. The students, they, they, they eat the toffees and they come to class. Mm. This is very, mm. very, very mm. sad. Mm. This is very, very uh, sad. So if the entire world mm. is also following the beast, now we have people giving glory to their sinful acts. If a woman will come out so boldly to claim that, ah, after I entered into this kind of business, now I have built this kind of mansion. Mm -hmm. And what kind of business is that? Mm. So if people are giving out, we, we have frosters, 419, now youngsters at the age of 20, mm. 18 thereabouts, yes. who are into 419, and then scamming. Scamming. Some are riding in flashy cars, and they think that is all. <sighs> These are all part of the deadly wound. Mm. Mm. And as Philadelphians, we need to be very smart and then act very fast according to God's word. Okay. So I, that is it. <laughs> From the look of this, you can see that the, the, the moral fiber of the society is it's now broken, broken, broken and then destroyed. Mr. Uh, Nakoviosa, let's look at uh, the blasphemy. Uh, great things. It's because it goes on to say that, uh, let, let's look at the quotation. Let's read it very well. If you've opened to Revelation chapter 13. Mm, mm -hmm. verses, 13. Uh, uh, verses? Let, let me read that word, uh, that place again. Verse 4. Mm -hmm. And they worship the dragon. Okay. I think, I think it's verse 5. The verse and 5. Okay. There was given unto him a mouth, speaking great things, and, and blasphemies, blasphemies. Okay. and power was given unto him to continue 40 and 2 months. Yeah. Okay. Now, so let's look at it. Speaking of great things and blasphemous words. Usually, man do not know. Uh, at, most people think that when they openly declare that there is no God, that is only when they blaspheme. But today, the voice of God made us to understand certain utterances that when we speak, it exalts itself against the word of God, against the supremacy of God. And these are all blasphemy in the sight of God. If you can help us, what did he say? And help listeners to also understand. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Malcolm. You're welcome. Please. Um, before I just concentrate on the blasphemy, okay, I want us to look at something quite critical. Mm -hmm. uh, that is one of the main reasons why Stephen Adum Chibia, the voice of God, uh, told us that uh, we should be able to identify the one ordained by God and then those who are also uh, by ordained by men. Mm -hmm. That is sent by God and then those sent by men. You see, looking at the scar, <laughs> the scar <laughs> itself, mm, mm. Uh, as we've already gotten to know, is visible. Okay. Something that is visible that you can easily identify, identify and associate with. And the other side of it is that Jesus Christ also decided that he was also going to do away with the scar by destroying the mind. Uh, unfortunately for us, the scar which is on the head, you are talking about destroying the mind, 
-hmm. it's in the head. Yeah. This car is supposed to be visible for us. But because we are not aware, mm -hmm. uh, most of us will certainly not have indulged in it. Mm -hmm. Because cars are scary, they are ugly at the same time. And everyone will want to conceal his car. Okay. <coughs> Unfortunately for us, mm -hmm. uh, in our account, we deduce that if the head were to be like a popo, one could easily bisect and then find its content. So you know whether it is bad or good. Okay. Unfortunately, in our case, whatever we conceive in our mind is such that we cannot be able to do anything about it. It is only by, uh, I'll say, incubated by us until we hatch it out. Nobody can really see what is within us. Mm -hmm. And this has gone on to the point that, like he said, if you look at a woman, lastly, mm -hmm. the Bible says that you have already committed adultery. Mm. Now, you see, this one, it was in your mind, though. Nobody saw you. Nobody has even seen you doing this physically. Mm. Yet the Bible is telling you that you have it already fornicated. Wow. Now, we have gotten to a point where before the changeover, mm -hmm. things that we were doing in secrecy, mm. like masturbation mm. and other things, mm. yeah. now we can come out publicly, do all those things. Without and we shame. have people... Hmm. giving us the backing hmm. that yes, people have their individual differences. Yes. So they can be bisexual, mm -hmm. they can be homosexuals, they can be all kinds of people. Transgenders. And uh, <laughs> we acknowledge that. Hmm. So if we are not fast and smart, before we are aware, we have been lured into it, and we are also acknowledging what others are doing, which okay. before was deceitful <coughs> to society. Now let's come to the blasphemy proper. Uh, in the past, we just felt or knew that when you blaspheme, it is just mm -hmm. saying something directly against God mm -hmm. that puts some sort of uh, mark or slay mm -hmm. on God's name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But right now, we have done so, m we have done this uh, continuously mm. on mm. our ways. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one yeah. thing, Adam Chidu, the voice of God, wants us to understand that any time that you try to give glory mm -hmm. or make something superior mm -hmm. to God as a way or a channel by which you get something, then you have blasphemed. Mm. Let's look at it. <laughs> Just by the mention of the e levy, mm -hmm. we've already started uh, pouring insults here and there on government, mm -hmm. saying that they are taking our livelihood away. Away, they are worsening our woes. <laughs> Before, we've forgotten that it is only God mm. who gives us, mm. who is the giver of all the resources mm. that we need to survive. Okay. So, why do we want to channel? God's authority to government. And instead of getting back to God to seek for clemency for uh, the sins that we've committed and because of that we are suffering because the Bible tells us that the wages of sin is death. Is death. And once we have erred, we have to pay some punishment. We do that. People will just tell you from the church that, well, it has been bought for you. Mm. Uh, your womb has been removed. I have to go under the sea okay. to retrieve it for you. Okay. You, by your own self, is able to acknowledge that as for me, I'm in a family which is so hard or difficult mm. that we do not give birth. We are always barren, but mm -hmm. as for money, we have it. If you can make all such pronouncements, you are just blaspheming because you want to say that there is something superior to God. 
And this is what Stephen Adam Chidi, the voice of God, wants us to understand. Uh, taking cognizance of what happened mm. in the Bible, he did mention Job, Sarah, Naomi, and others. Yes. All the challenges they went through, including Job, they never blasphemed because they knew that their God was a God who was faithful. <coughs> And not a deceiver. And not a deceiver. However, mm -hmm. we just, anything that we we come across, we just attribute it to something else. Yes. And because of that, you say, for your family, there is always hardship. There is no way that co you could flourish in life. But okay. Stephen Adum Chief, we are the voice of God, wants us to know that, yes, he came from a family like that. Mm -hmm. Back in Nigeria, mm -hmm. he also went to see for greener pastures like other people. Yes. But when he returned, he returned with the glory of God. Now, what are we seeing? Mm -hmm. We believe that anything that the man of God says is the truth, so we should follow. And unfortunately, the scars that we should have been able to use as a mark to identify them, we've all thrown them amiss. And we just hear people saying that, come and see me, like Brother Michael said, mm -hmm. and I'll make sure I'll that work it out for you. I make <laughs> things work or flourish, your life will be fruitful. Mm. And all we do is just run and walk mm. to chase them. For him, he said he was given the grace of and all others. So at a point, he was able to wash mm -hmm. this old scar from himself mm. and because mm. of that he has been renewed mm. and become mm. a new person wow. and that's why he consistently points to the fact that there is nothing besides God she knew. She knew. okay thank you very much L let me take uh, some few messages since today our phone lines did not help uh, let me take some messages and then we will come for uh, the latter part and then you add your submissions also to it as we, we seek to wrap up. It says, Adumo, what a prophet of God. Papa's teachings today made our meeting place as quiet as a cemetery. <laughs> so the place was like a cemetery. Papa, no one can indeed take it from you. And this is from Godwin Japo, watching you live from San Dema. So today in San Dema, uh, the place was just as quiet as the cemetery. Even in Kumasi, at the point in time I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone saw that indeed. Hmm. 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 Philadelphia Holy Royals. Today's message is very, is that was very sound and powerful. Indeed, Papa is breaking the Asian satanic strongholds. God bless Papa Ernesto from Kwawu Kotoso. Um, Rose from Seshi Penacrom. I want to say a big thank you to Papa because I now find myself teaching people with Shiniho, even in my dreams, all because of Papa's teachings. Wow, wow. So, uh, good evening. Now, light, the light of the world has arrived, mm. and darkness cannot dwell mm. in us because of Papa Adam, mm. the best teacher ever. God bless you, Papa, and strengthen you from George Komade inside a flower diamond cement. Wow. It says, Adumo, we thank God we did not die earlier, and we. We have, the we have the opportunity to hear this wonderful message from the prophet of God, Stephen Adum Chedia. In fact, we thought we were, in the, we were on the right path, not knowing we were just beating around the bush. God bless you, Papa Adum. Wow, wow. And this is quite from uh, Kwame Sanfo in Gulf City. Gulf City. Hmm. Adumo, my question is, how are we... Is that how? Is that my question? Is how we are we, we, we are able to add into? No, no, I just don't get. Please, uh, brother Richard from Kufuridia, your message is not that clear. If you can help us, listening to the voice of God tears my taking to the reality. Christians invite the devil to a party without realizing it. That is from brother George Tadi de Philadelphia. So we invited the devil to our party without even realizing we had already invited him. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let me let me leave the messages 
now this one says philadelphia royal is a university of wisdom and we are in a level of 666 <laughs> meaning we ha we are on the level of awareness and this is a message from cape coast nana sego and i say good the lord which bless you all for bringing the message this adumo on top of started talking about the era of awareness we have been made to believe that since uh, uh, that is from Sunday school days, that says this, this is coming, and if you refuse it, your eyes, nose, hand, and what of you will be taken off. No knowing is even with us, and we have already accepted and still accepting it. Oh, hmm. these preachers in our various churches and the streets, no, they don't know and understand what they are saying. Papa, we salute you. Sister Vivian in Sunyani. Okay, so God will you bless you all for bringing your messages. There are some of them I couldn't read them out, and others too were not too clear for me to grasp. So forgive us. Now, the opportunity, uh, the opportunity still exists for you to bring your messages next week. We are still learning. The topic still remains the era of awareness. So forgive me, since time will not permit to us to read all messages. You are doing well. You've now seen that indeed you are learning and you've been enlightened. Okay, let me come to Mr. Falker. Uh, but from that, then I'll come to Nana to give us his take on this point. Mr. Falker, now the voice of God made some calculations for us. Uh, get it to the latter part of uh, the verse number five. That's the latter part. He says that it will continue for 40 and two months. That is 42 months. And, and these are so many, uh, as brought so many teachings full of uh, misunderstanding, confusion galore, hmm. sending fear and uh, panic along our spines. We don't know 40 and then two months. What did the voice of God say concerning this? And uh, if you have any last remarks, you add it to it for me, please. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. But please, before I answer the question, mm -hmm. just a little addition. Okay. To um, he said he was giving the math mm. to speak great things. Great things. Yes, I'm blaspheming. And according to Stephen Adam at the voice of God, we have to watch our tongue. Mm. Meaning, we have some people whose mouth emanates blasphemy. Mm. And we have others, but they are few, mm. Mm. who does not blaspheme against God. Okay. You know, Abraham and Sarah, they came, or they were born out of a home mm -hmm. that worshipped idols. Idols, yeah. You know, Sarah was married to Abraham, mm -hmm. the very good friend of God. Mm. She was barren for 90 good years, mm. but she never spoke any words of negativity concerning her situation that is serious to the supreme god mm, mm. so she never blasphemed in any means okay but let's see someone who is just married for about three years and after she started encountering pressure mm. from her in-laws yes now someone these words emanated from someone in the church yes it's your in-law who took this womb of yours mm -hmm. and hid it under a big stone in the sea. <laughs> Listen to these words mm, mm. coming out from the mouth of a so-called man of God. And then you, the victim, also embracing such words mm. and then also speaking for these words. For These are some of the blasphemy. And we know it is only God who made Sarah to conceive, and then he makes babies, Make gives babies. out babies. Yes, yes, yes. So, Stephen and the words of God said, we should watch the words that comes out of our mouth. Okay. Those are the words of blasphemy. Mm. Mm. Now, to um, the 40 and two months yes. that was given unto the beast, you know, um, we must all understand mm. that the scripture itself was born out of God's spirit. Mm. And we know that one day mm. in the spirit of God mm. is thousand years mm. in the sight of man. Wow. wow. So if you want to calculate 42 months mm. Mm. 
in the spirit of God, how, what will be the equation? Okay. Okay, so then it means that we are going to multiply the 42. Yeah. So uh, we know uh -huh. 24 hours, which is one, one day, day, is 1,000 years in the yes, sight of, of man. God. Uh-huh. Okay. A day before God is 1,000 years. Yes. Uh-huh. So mm -hmm. if we have, let's say, 30 days in a month. That is going to give us 30,000. 30,000. Okay, so they so are going to multiply the 30,000 by the 42. That is it. Wow. wow. And with that, wow. I guess we had 1,260,000. Yes, so yes, yes. And even with that, Stephen Adichel, the voice of God, said, let's put aside 1 million mm. and deal with 260,000. It's not easy. After... Jesus Christ resurrected from mm. the dead. Mm. It is now two thousand years. Maybe the sister thousand you do, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he has always been saying that um, world without that end, end. Yes, yes, as it was in the, the beginning, beginning, so, so shall, shall it be. be, now and forever. Mm. Word without end. So. Just as Abraham and Sarah mm. singled themselves out mm. Mm. of that idol worship, in our era, yeah. we must also single ourselves out. Because if we are waiting, as they've been saying, we are waiting for those who waited and overweighted for the coming of the Antichrist. They are all dead and gone. Mm. There were people who, so many generations have passed. Okay. They also came. They were all waiting for the Antichrist. Mm. So if truly, if they are all dead and gone, then it means what is written in the Bible, what we are all being enlightened about, mm -hmm. if they were waiting for the Antichrist, then they have already dodged or swerved the antics of the Antichrist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If that was supposed to be how it is. But they all passed through. So as Philadelphians, the advice Stephen Adinchila, the voice of God, gave when he was almost wrapping up with today's sermon is that let's make sure we single ourselves out of the antics of the beast, the Antichrist. We should make sure that just as the Antichrist was given that mark to speak great and things and then blasphemy. Mm. We will not be counted as candidates of those who speak blasphemous words okay. to the omnipotent living God. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much uh, for these words. I know you've all listened to it in good faith. Let me come to Nana. Where could you now, your, your, your comments on uh, what has been discussed and your last words to Philadelphia Royal. Thank you very much, Mr. Marco. See, the word blaspheme, mm -hmm. when you take even the literal meaning of the word yeah, yeah. blaspheme, yeah. it means to profane, mm. to insult, mm -hmm. to speak sacrilegious ways, mm. 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 to arrogate power and authority to a deity, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a happening. Mm -hmm an event mm. or any other thing under the other than the power that be which is yes, from god the power mm. of god mm -hmm. now the blasphemy is the second facet of the the scar mm. 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 apart from the works of the flesh that are made manifest mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which the word is craving for, for. the next thing it is very subtle. Okay. Very, very subtle. But, but no, no. Mm -hmm. But when you consider your prayer language. Yes. Your preaching mm. language. Okay. Your speakings. Mm. Even in our general conversations. Yes, yes. You yes, realize that you are blaspheming. Mm. You are blaspheming. Mm. When you read Ephesians chapter 1, mm -hmm. from 20 to the end, yeah. it said that God has raised Christ and set him in heavenly places, places yeah. far above mm, mm, mm. 
Mm. You didn't even say yeah. above. Yeah, far above. If he said above, it's good enough. <laughs> but he said far mm -hmm. above mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. every principality, yeah. every power, mm. every dominion, every mm. might. Mm. Mm. So Christendom, we are seated with Christ mm. in heavenly places, far above. Where we are, he said, Christ is the head of all power and principality, and we are complete mm -hmm. in him. Mm -hmm. And he said, all other things are under our feet. Yes. Now, you that you are far above, what business do you have with the things under your feet? Yes, yes. Why do you live far above to come and contend with, with things, things under your feet? Under your feet? Mm. That's but not so deep. if you look at your prayer language, the words that you speak, when Papa taught on the number 13, yes. and so when he refers to Romans chapter 13, he said, let every soul that lives be subject to the powers that be. be. Yes, yes, yes. And the powers that be are mm -hmm. ordained of God. Of God. Mm -hmm. Verse 1. And then you are attributing a happening, mm -hmm. an occurrence, mm -hmm. a predicament. Mm -hmm. The things that happen to us, Jesus said, in this world, mm -hmm. You will face tribulations, yeah. but fear not, I've overcome the world. Yes. When you read Isaiah 45, verse 7, Deuteronomy 32, 39, 1 mm -hmm. Samuel 2, verse 6, Hannah. Yeah. When he, in her predicament, he said, Father, you Remember kill and you make alive. Yeah. Yeah. You make it poor, you make it rich. Mm. But you are saying that it is your mother's <laughs> brother who has bought poverty for you. Wow, look. He said, God creates darkness and light. And light. You are attributing your, your prayer, mm. you, you, you are binding a power mm. huh? that is in the, from the dark world. Yes. Soon, soon we are saying, yes. you are attributing an occurrence to another power mm. that is blasphemous. Mm. Mm. In John mm. chapter 8, when the Jews pick up stones, mm. the only accusation they level against Jesus mm -hmm. is that he had blasphemed. He had blasphemed. He had arrogated mm. himself mm. to be God. Mm. Mm. But Jesus was explaining himself. Yes. So even Jesus was accused because they didn't understand him. Yes. Now you, your prayer, your preaching, mm. your conversation, mm. everything. And so, you know, when it comes at, it comes subtly. Okay. So it's not like someone going to say, hey, there is no God. There is no God. So that you say, hey, <laughs> you have blasphemed. blasphemy. Yes. But when you get up and say, tonight, mm. we are fighting against the satanic stronghold in mm -hmm. my family. Mm -hmm. They are responsible for the poverty. Yes. So you are going to fight and you are, you are binding, binding, you are binding. Oh, you you yes. are arrogating that the things that are mm. happening to you mm. was mm. not ordained by God. By God. It's from another power. It is blasphemous. Okay. You see, First Peter 5, 8, it said, be sober mm. and vigilant mm. Mm. because the adversary, mm. the, the devil, the devil mm. is, is roaming Holy, like, like yes. a lion, lion, seeking mm -hmm. whom to devour, mm. Mm. seeking, mm. Mm. seeking. You see, you see, he used the word seeking. Yes. It presupposes that, yes, you can either avail yourself yes. for you to be found mm. or you Go can take coverage under the, the power of, the most high God. of God. Mm. Mm. Second Corinthians chapter 10, 3 to 5. It says, the weapons of our warfare now are not kana. They are not kana. Mm. But they are so mighty. What ignorance gone on rampage mm. Mm. that you tell me that you are coming on warfare today, so we should bring the, the gun, we should carve an image mm -hmm. of a gun mm -hmm. and bring. Mm -hmm. The last time I saw, they said it's, 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 it's fire, so they, they lit the <laughs> fire in the church. No, this is serious. They lit the fire mm -hmm. and they are pouring water. Oh. At, the fire, you, you, are, you, are, you are quenching it. This is ignorance gone on rampage. And the voice of God has come to diffuse these things. Mm. See, so the weapons of our warfare are not oh, carnal, but they are mighty mm. through God. So they are pulling down a strong God. What is strong God? Mm. He's not talking about some mm. wall somebody has mm. built. Mm. The strong God. He's yes. talking about the notion, yes. the blasphemous yes. statement. Yes. If he, it's, it's from your father's house. It's from this. It's from arrogating power to imaginations. Mm. Mm. And thoughts. Thoughts. <laughs> yes. So he said we, we and bring everything 
to, to the obedience yes, yes, of the yes. powers that are ordained by God. God. <laughs> and this is what the voice of God is making us see. Mm. So mm. we have passed the era of physical battle with idols. Mm. Now the battle is in our ways. Let us watch our prayer language, okay. our speakings, our speechings. Let us arrogate all things that happen to God and seek for his merciful kindness, mm. his tender mercies, his loving kindness. When you listen to the prayer language of the voice of God, yes. you will catch a revelation. Mm. It mm. reveals the word they call has said. H E S E D. Has said. H E S E D. H E S E D. Has said. Has said. Wow. That is the nature of God. It mm. it's, it's talks about the loving kindness mm. of God. Mm -hmm. The merciful kindness yes, of God, God yes. the grace of God, mm -hmm. the favor of God, mm -hmm. the goodness of God. Mm -hmm. This is what the voice of God unveils to us I when He prays. Wow. That wow. in everything, mm. in everything. Mm. And when, when you study the scriptures, you say, what prepared God to even send Jesus Christ is because mm. of His Hesed. Mm. Mm. It's, it's but for His it's mercies not. that we are not consumed, because mm. 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 His compassions fail not. Yes, Great is His merciful. Mm. Uh, faithfulness towards us. They are new. Morning. Every, every so morning. let's arrogate everything to God and seek for His intervention in our life instead of arrogating things to things that be not imaginations and mm. thoughts mm. and strongholds. Okay. Thank okay. you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Adam Uncle Fraser, you're closing us today. Uh, so your last remarks, but then a uh, quick one you, you, you uh, summarize what the voice of God had to tell. The royals and then the, the 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 kings and queens in danger, yes, in in some two or three lines. Yes, please. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Marco. You're welcome. Uh, making it quite snappy. Uh, Stephen Adum Chidia, the voice of God, answers one question: If you use prayer materials, for mm -hmm. instance, oil, what? Uh, is the underlying fact for you applying that oil? Is it because there is something in existence besides God? Or you are just using it to anoint yourself? Mm. If it is because of something besides God, then he's telling us that we've already been decorated with several badges or medals by the Antichrist already. And because of that, when we look up to Jesus Christ for sort of refuge or redemption, mm -hmm. there's no way it will be possible. So all that he's doing right now is to make us understand that the batches are all over us. Let's take our time and remove all and dump it at the refuge site. When we are done and we now confess our sins as usual, Jesus Christ is there and ready to make us rule, run through the path of salvation so that at the end of it all, when we've gone to live with our ancestors, we shall have our redemption. Now, Stephen Adum Chidu, the voice of God, mm -hmm. this afternoon also appealed to the kings and queens of the intraland. His passionate appeal to them was to forget about a past happening. He said, he is a law-abiding citizen of the land. And he makes sure that whatever has been set up by the chieftaincy, he abides by it. That is why Philadelphia Royals is full of a lot of kings and queen mothers. Okay. And because of that, he wants them to know that he has not come to take anything away from them, but he has been sent by God to deliver a message to them and to prove that that is why even we know that the past uh, welfare support that mm -hmm. was given, mm -hmm. we have people in the dangerous kingdom or land also receiving the due yes. of the 1,200 and even the 100 
1,000 uh, Ghana cities for the aged. He's saying that all brothers and also organizers should take a cue from it. If for the past they never knew of such issues, they should always confer with the chiefs and queen mothers within mm. their jurisdiction mm. Mm. and make sure nothing untoward happens. Happen. And he's saying that the television, as was used on that day, was not meant to cause any mayhem. Okay. And if the rules had been clear on that, that television says should not have been used, there was no way he was going to, to allow, allow them the to congregation use to wow. use it. Wow. So wow. they should let bygones be bygones, but he's still pleading with them that they should accept him as he has come with a mission mm. from God to them. Mm. And if they do so, then they have accepted Jesus Christ wow. within their land. Wow. And that's his message for them. Okay, okay. Just a quick one to add to that. We know that in the Bible, any or every king that accepted the prophet of God saw fruitfulness, prosperity in his land. You can go on and o go on. You see, Saul had to fall because he didn't listen to the words of Samuel. David triumphed because of Samuel. And then also the prophet Nathan. Uh, Hezekiah got revived and then restored because he listened to the decrees of the prophet Isaiah. We, many and many, many, many prophets, you know. Uh, so, so. Uh, we, we are pleading, we are pleading to the royals and to, to the kings and queens of danger, our own very people. We know Stephen Adun Chedria, the voice of God, is an epitome of total submission. He, he, he is someone who is law-abiding citizen and then gives his ultimate and utter respect to everyone that is deemed fit. And even people that is older than them, he comes very low to receive them. How much more you kings and queens? This thing wasn't a, a blatant, uh, or let's say, how do I say, an intentional act. But then we pray that we all settle the differences and then make the way forward. Make sure we all come onto the same level or line and then move together. And then we shall see the prosperity that we pray for danger land and the, the people of Ghana. God will you bless you all. Now, this, this is from uh, our, our, our special, 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 uh, hard-working, most industrious, astute uh, worker of Second Chance TV. The man of the moment, uh, of the year 2021 uh, through to 2022. Now, nobody can take it from him. That is Nana Jumo. Nana Jumo wants to use this platform. He has told us that. He wants us to tell the voice of God, Stephen Adum Chedia, and our only queen mother, Owa Hine Abrempo, Ahine Pankasa, that he so much appreciates what you've done for him. He was taken aback, so that day we saw that he was speechless, and Adumo couldn't talk, you know, because he was not looking forward for, to it. And then what you did actually shows that, indeed, you are watching, and you also appreciate the little that we do to support your ministry and the work of God. May God richly bless you and then replenish everything you've lost a thousand folds. These are the words of Nana Jumo, the, the, the man of the moment. <laughs> yes, to uh, Stephen Adulti, you are the voice of God and our queen mother. And to the managers of Second Chance TV and his colleagues, he says he thanks you all because one person he couldn't have done all this work, but you all supported him and made sure that he was able to do the work to push him and made people to also acknowledge that indeed he is serving well. So he thanked all his colleagues and everyone. Now to all Philadelphia Royals, we want to say thank you all for the time spent. Indeed, indeed, it's been such a glorious moment before God, learning from the voice of God, Stephen Adun Chedia, our only and true teacher of our time, the prophet and the rabbi. Father, we say, God richly bless you. From the comments and everything that came, we sense that illumination, that the, the entrance of the word brought illumination. And man has now been enlightened and liberated. That is what we have seen. And because of that, because we have come to know the truth, we've been empowered to do things that we couldn't do. And this is because you offered yourself as a sacrifice that through you, man shall come back to give his sacrifice, his ultimate worship, 
and respect to Yahweh, God Almighty. Now, to all Take your chance, uh, viewers, Philadelphia Royals. We thank you also for making time and then learning from the voice of God. Without wasting time, we want to say that God will you bless you. Keep watching Second Chance TV. And we know and we all appreciate that your growth shall be holistic. Meaning that it wouldn't be one aspect of your body or your life that shall see this growth. As you come to know the truth, your resources, uh, your work, your breakthroughs, testimonies shall all fall in line and people shall see that indeed you are perfect, complete, lacking nothing. God bless you. Let's take a word of prayer and then we say bye-bye. So, Mr. Daniel Kofi, please close us for the day. Please let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you Amen. this evening. We thank you for the opportunity yes. for unveiling unto us the mark of the beast yes, and then the six 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 mm -hmm. that we've all been anticipating and waiting for there's the time that we need empowerment so that we'll be able to shun away from all our old sinful ways yeah but then all when you come to move us to your glory we shall be able to prevail we know you've heard our prayer because we've prayed in the name of jesus christ of nazareth amen Amen, amen, amen. We thank God for the life of Second Chance TV too. We can all attest that just in four years, many are the wonderful things that we are doing or this TV station has been able to achieve and fulfill. Now, the number one Christian channel in Africa and then we are going global. We know that we shall surely take over. God bless you all. Keep watching Second Chance TV. Keep on surfing through the social media platforms of, of uh, the voice of God, Stephen Adun Chedia, for many messages because this is a man that keeps on preaching. So there are many of them which will help you. I know most of you have questions, as, at least the first comers. Let's take time to learn from the voice of God and our lives shall never be the same. We shall no more be tools that shall be used by these men of God and these so-called uh, spiritual men to extort money from us again. Shalom. God be with you. We shall meet next week if Elohim permits us. Bye-bye.